Okay, hi guys, happy Friday. Third time's the charm. So, coming to you today, we are talking about driver number three for cash flow in our business. I'm gonna try and take these off, but it's bright, so we'll see how long it lasts. Um, so last couple weeks we have talked about drivers number two and or one and two. Driver number one was taxes, paying your taxes. Driver number two was paying off debt. Driver number three today is creating capital in your business. And when I'm talking creating capital, I'm not talking about taking out a business loan or a line of credit or anything like that. We are actually talking about taking cash that your business has earned that does not have a purpose elsewhere in your business and creating capital through this. And so in doing so, your goal should be, random hair in the eye, sorry. Your goal should be to create three to six months of your business needs in a savings account for your business. Um, oh my gosh, it's gonna drive me nuts, guys, I'm sorry. Um, three to six months of savings in your business. And by doing this, it takes you away from a space of desperation if anything were to happen in your business where your focus is taken away from it for a little bit and it creates the ability for you to grow your business through this capital by using capital that you have set aside rather than using capital that you're borrowing to grow your business you're truly growing your business when you take out a loan or you take out debt in your business to grow it this is something that you have to repay and it affects your cash flow down the road so it's a great influx for your cash flow but in the long term you're having to pay it right back so by building this capital as your third driving force of cash flow in your business, you are truly creating an opportunity in your business for longevity, for success, for you to have that to fall back on, for you to have that to grow, franchise, expand, whatever your needs are and desires are with your business. By having this capital in the business and having it there that is not borrowed capital that you're having to repay, it really does set your business up for success and sets you up to create longevity through the business in this fashion. So when you have the cash flow, you always wanna make sure you're setting aside and paying your taxes very first. Then you wanna get out of debt because as long as you have that debt and you're making payments toward that, towards that, you're lowering your cash flow as well. Um, so you want to make sure that you're getting that paid off to increase your cash flow. And then the third thing, which we're talking about today is capital cash flow in your business is so important. I have seen so many businesses that create profits. They're profitable. Hey, Harlan. Thank you. Um, business that are profitable, but they don't manage cash flow. And so by not managing cash flow, they actually end up failing because you can have profits, but if you don't have cash to support the day-to-day -day of your business, you actually can't continue to operate. It's just not gonna happen. So by using driver number three and creating this capital in your business and creating this ability for you to fund the growth in your business internally rather than having to look, look externally for funding your business, it really is setting you up for long-term success. It's setting you up to be able to survive through those low, slow times, those months where things just don't actually get to the point where your influx is just not putting out, or your influx coming in is not sufficient to support your outflux for the month. We all have those months. They shouldn't be very often, but we do have those months. And by having this capital base in your business, you're able to thrive through these times, not just survive them, and you're able to continue to grow with intention this way. So to recap, a couple weeks ago, we did driver number one was paying your taxes. Last week, driver number two was getting out of debt, paying off the debt that your business has. And today, driver number three is building that capital. So these are the order in which they should be happening. So driver number four, we're gonna talk about next week. So hop on next week. I hope everybody enjoys your Friday. Have a fabulous weekend, and I will see you guys next week for Finance Friday.